Namaste. My name is Chandi Devi and I guess I'm on a roll. I'm just doing all this talking here. <laughs> but uh, I wanted to talk about my passion and that is tango. And I <clears throat> am calling this new passion of mine tango, tango Tantra because the similarities are amazing. Um, and that's what drew me to tango in the first place, was it's, um, it is so much like Tantra in, in the way that the dancers have to connect with one another as we do in Tantra. And it's the expression of um, their bodies working in harmony with one another, but being each in their own center. It's, it's quite amazing. Um, tango also is very meditative. And, you know, I'm, I just took, started taking it this year, so um, I still have a long way to go. But what I found is that um, my teachers, for instance, um, Julia and Angel from the Tango Room, Dot com. When they dance there, you can actually see the peace and the connection. And that's what attracted me to them as teachers. I saw it in a photo and I said, wow, this is, it, it was unreal because they, they just had a chemistry, a magic that is not easily found. You know, you have people who are great dancers but they may not have the connection. Um, and Julia and Angel definitely have it. I think they're the finest teachers around. And excuse me. <clears throat> um, the similarities, as I was saying, you know, in, in tango, like yoga or tantra, it's the union of opposites. So in tango, you have the man, and he's really the man. I mean, he takes on the, the role of the yang, the, the masculine uh, uh, role entirely. And the woman is pure shakti, but she's not wimpy. She, she's very strong, but she's very powerful, very strong in her own right. But like in tango and tantra, only one can lead and one can follow. And this is the way it is. It's the yin yang. There is no point in um, the feminine trying to control everything because it just doesn't work like that. Um, the beauty comes in the surrender of the uh, of the opposite polarities. And while she is in total surrender to him because she's in total trust, um, <clears throat> he also has a huge responsibility and he's well aware of it. He has to watch out for her, make sure she doesn't fall because she's walking backwards. And he, he, his job is to really take care of her. Not that she's weak, but to take care of her because that is the role of the male in, you know, just, just in general. So um, that's, you know, that, that's part of the attraction to it was that the feminine was very feminine while the masculine was very masculine, and still one was not superior or dominant over the other. They're both equal, and that's the whole thing about it. It's like in Tantra, you're both equal, but you both have your own roles to play because, you know, just by nature of the fact that one is, is feminine and one is masculine, um, it, 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 there's no way you can, um, try to take on the other role because it's not who you are and Tantra is all about being honest to yourself and being genuine. Now the other thing about Tango that I love is that you know you, 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 you pull up from your, your waist up, pulls up, but your waist down pushes into the ground um, your chest opens, but at the same time it, it contracts slightly. You're moving backwards, but you're leaning forward. Your toes 
are out, but your knees are together and your thighs are, are pushing in. And so it's all of this, and then you add the musical component, which is the main part about um, tango that makes it so wonderful. You have to, your body and your mind has to really be in connection, I'm sorry, has to really be connected to the vibration of the music. Uh, tango doesn't always have, you know, strong percussion, so you can hear the beat. No, in, in the old days, you know, they, they didn't use um, percussion, drums. So you had to listen to other parts of the music. And as you dance, you can either follow um, the rhythm of, say, the piano or, or the violins. But you have different layers of, of music and you can within the dance you can you can skip from one to the other um, just depending on how you feel it, it's totally a uh, emotional uh, it's love making to the music and with the music so it's 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 really um, for me it's, I love it. It, it it's a discipline uh, it's a challenge it really makes me use my mind and the body and at the same time, you have to be emotional with the music. And so there's, there's so many different things going on at once. So it's very exciting. And I love it so much. So uh, this is the brand I'm calling Tango Tantra. And, you know, hopefully by next year, I might be able to actually do some demonstration here but <laughs> I'm not gonna do it today that's for sure but all said and done it's wonderful it's um, it's isolating parts of your body um, so that you know you're not moving entire limbs but you're actually moving joints and the opposites it, it's just wonderful it's just exactly like Tantra as far as I'm concerned so, there you have it. Night.